Um, this is a really bummer day. I'm not gonna lie. I was out here with a friend and he was verifying what is a load and a not a load bearing wall. And if I can get rid of this wall without any troubles, I'll do a video on that on today's task. So keep an eye out for that. But he said, if you're gonna transfer the load from this wall and it's gonna set on this wall, we need to check that beam. So I said, okay, let's check this beam. So we check it, this looks really good. That's two, two, four by sixes. That's a stout piece of wood. He says, well, that's good. What is it sitting on? Oh, well, let's check that. So I knock into the sheetrock here and here, and the beam only is sitting on one two by four. Not okay. That's not even up to code. That's not anything. That is awful. Then he's like, well, let's go check the other side. So I punched my hammer through, and you can see that it is completely rotten in there. I don't, like I'm kind of at my wits end with this place a little bit. I feel like I'm making such good ground. I feel like we're getting somewhere. And then I realize, nope, there's another huge, huge setback. So we have to rip this beam out, put in new studs all the way down on both sides in order to just do anything. Like that's not even safe for me to leave. I, I can't leave that like that, not in good conscience. There's no way. And not only that, as I was ripping up the floor in this room, I realized we are uneven by an inch and a half. So I have to re-level that entire room. That's so much more than I wanted to do. I mean, it's like, this is meant to be a flip the house kind of thing. So you come in, do some basics, rip up some flooring, lay down some new carpet, flooring. <sighs> I'm kind of at a loss right now because I just, no matter where I'm running into in this house, I'm running into issues that I just didn't know were there. I didn't, I'm running into things that I didn't think were gonna be a problem or even relevant. Um, it's a lot for me to take in. I'm very nervous to tell Bonnie about it because I feel like it's something she can't handle more of is more setbacks with this house because we don't wanna be into this way more money than it's necessary. And we especially don't wanna be into it way more time than is necessary. I mean, I wanna create content for you guys and show you guys, but when it's problem after problem, it's very discouraging as a builder. And uh, I'm a, not even a real builder by any means. So for me to be discouraged by this, I don't know how these real contractors feel when they run into garbage that's just so distressing. So now I gotta tell Bonnie the fun news. So we're using a GoPro and it's a little hard to <laughs> know when this thing is on. Should I show him the like whole get up in here? Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Joel just showed me or was talking to me. Oh, you can't really see. There we go. That's the setup, it's a little wild. Um, Joel was telling me about the house. <laughs> Did you already explain to them about the house? Yeah. Okay, so one, I'm not surprised because we already know there's going to be issues. Um, and so it's just a matter of when and what those issues, when they're going to occur and what those issues are going to be. So Joel did explain to me what he explained to you guys. What you guys don't know is what made the beams rotted out. I did not. So get ready for this because this is a doozy. Okay. So when I initially found the rot, I thought it was just rot because I could only see like a small section of it. And I had a buddy come over and verify for me and we tore some more sheetrock off. And he's like, yeah, this is 100% termites. And so I had, to, that's disgusting. Like my house has, what, is that equivalent to lice? Like, so we tore it back and it's it doesn't go further back, we don't think, but I don't know. We're gonna have to have the house sprayed for Friggin' termites. Okay, so my my concern was, okay, if it's termites, does that mean that the entire house is like affected? Does that mean every truss in the house is rotted and eaten out by termites? I is don't, that the case? I don't think so. I looked back at the other two, like right next to it, and I don't see even lines back there. And so that tells me I don't think they traveled very far. 
but I need to get up in the attic and look, and then we're gonna replace everything that has been affected. It it's don't, just a matter of how yeah. much has been affected. And I don't see any live spores or whatever they say. They say if you see live, like you know it's still active, and I haven't seen any live, so I think it's not active anymore. For all I know, that, that could have been done 20 years ago and been just sitting there, but where we're adjusting things, we have to really take care of it now. Yes, and he that was less reassuring than what he told me, so I'm not sure if he's... I'm not sure what the actual truth is. Like, is it is so when he explained it to me, he's like, we looked into the other woods surrounding it. He doesn't think it's a, an issue. The only way to really know, though, is to rip into things, and so that'll be the next. We've step, got to rip right? into quite a bit of stuff, which we already do anyway. But it's now it's just something we're looking for, and then if you have them, I guess you just spray the house and like you just can't go in there for like a week or something like that after you spray it or something. Oh, are you kidding? That kind of puts us behind on our schedule of the house too, which you have to account for that anyway. Just know that if you are ever going to remodel or anything, we've said this before, it will cost double than what you think. It will take double the time that you think. Two weeks. If you don't believe me, Try doing a DIY project or a remodel. <laughs> and, and prove me wrong, please. <laughs> there have been very few DIY projects that I've done that I'm like, yeah, that turned out right the first time. <laughs> I'm like, no, I gotta do it again. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think we're going to close the vlog here. Um, I'm laughing, but that's my way of, I'm la I'm yapping. <laughs> have you guys seen that TikTok? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, it's my way of coping, I guess. I laugh when I'm happy. I laugh when I'm uncertain and horrified that the house we just bought has termites. So, I okay. just want to open my wallet and dump it into the house and see if that, like, maybe that will magically change it. I've heard you Okay, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe, follow along our journey, click the notification bell so you're notified when our content goes up. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you're shocked by today's video, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. Okay, bye guys.